Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Upasana Bhai once again. I am a PhD student of IIT Delhi. I am doing PhD in Electrical Engineering Department. So I have uh, uploaded a video uh, two months back. Sorry, I couldn't come early, uh, earlier to answer all the queries that I have received regarding the PhD admissions. I have received a lot of questions over mail and the comment sections on my earlier video. So some of the questions I will be answering and other questions related to humanities and uh, sociology department, Jyotirmada will be answering. So, uh, Hello, I am Jyotirmai. Uh, I am a PhD research scholar in the Department of Humanities and Social Sciences, IIT Delhi. So yeah, we have received some questions, so we will try to address some of them. So the first question was, uh, can someone from any other stream apply for PhD at HSS? Yes, uh, people from any stream, commerce, science, engineering, any background can apply for a PhD at HSS department. Just that the topic should be related to uh, social sciences, humanities, literature, philosophy. Uh, that way anyone can apply uh, for a PhD in the department. Um, so the next question is uh, how to select a topic? So to select a topic, uh, it depends on the student. Uh, it depends on one's interest area what you are interested what you want to research on and some of the research areas that the uh, department encourages are listed down in the uh, website itself so we'll provide a link to the website where you can uh, know about the research areas that the uh, institute or the department encourages yes uh, huh? uh, also uh, related to the engineering department in the engineering discipline to select the research area uh, so it can be based on the some experience that you have already done in your master's degree or BTEC degree there we also need to do some kind of research second thing is that you need to see the trend what uh, the demand in the market is for example in engineering discipline now and renewable energy is in trend so you should see the future demand what will be and based on that you should also align your interest area or also it may not it's not necessary that it should be only depending on the demand in the market it should be also related to your interest area and third thing is that you should go through the profile of the faculty of the institute and you see their journal paper research paper you will get an idea the kind of uh, area they are mostly working on so if you, you your research area interest area is also is similar to the faculty members research area then definitely they'll be it will be easy for the faculty members to select you to do research under them uh, what is the minimum criteria to apply uh, for a phd at hss at humanities and social sciences department the minimum criteria is net so one has to qualify net to be able to apply for a phd in our department for engineering uh, phd's minimum criteria is uh, btech even yes after just after btech one can do phd that is called direct uh, phd so uh, for that you need to get particular CGP and otherwise the institute will not shortlist you for the PhD. Some department conducts entrance exam or some department direct uh, calls for direct interview based on your, your earlier uh, criteria like if you are able to fulfill earlier criteria like if you have proper marks in BTEC and MTEC that based on that they, they will shortlist you. Okay the next question is uh... If someone has done his or her masters from an from an open school, open school as in IGNO or National Open School Delhi University, if such a candidate can apply for a PhD in uh, our department, yes, one can apply. Uh, if the open school is recognized by UGC or in the in the case of science, I think it should be recognized by AICTA. Yes. Uh, so one can do apply in our department. Uh, the next question is uh, the difference between part-time PhD and full-time PhD uh, in both the programs one has to go through the coursework and one has to give exams uh, the exam and coursework that remains same for part-time and full-time PhD students only that after the coursework is over uh, the part-time uh, scholar can go back to whatever job he or she was doing and uh, they need not be in the campus for the whole time and the part-time PhD scholars do not receive stipend that is the difference that is yes, one difference yes. yeah. uh, when to submit the research proposal so before applying uh, or, or before the interview one is expected to submit a research proposal of 800 words 
and on the basis of that research proposal, uh, the candidate is asked uh, questions yeah. in the interview. That proposal need to be uh, submitted while filling the application form, I think. Yeah, right. The kind of questions uh, that are asked during the interview, uh, it depends on the faculty. Uh, some of these questions can be about your uh, uh, academic background, about your social background. And for I am talking about uh, Humanities and Social Sciences Department. And some of these questions can be also uh, about the subject you studied during your masters. Uh, so in our website we have sample question papers. So we'll provide a link in this uh, pro provide a link in the description uh, where you can go through the question papers. Okay. In for science. Okay. For engineering discipline. Uh, level of question paper if you are asked to give an entrance exam then you should prepare for the best levels for example get IES exam level in IIT Delhi in my time there was no written test exam but in other IITs they do conduct entrance exam and the question level was of the gate standard level and in interview also they will ask the basic fundamental questions for example, in uh, electrical engineering, in the electrical engineering also specific dis, uh, domain is there, for example, power system, power electronics. So if you are using power system, so they will ask the basic questions from the power system, for example, load flow. And if it is, if you have chosen the control system, they will ask questions from the control system. So the next question is, uh, should a candidate contact the faculty member before an interview? Uh, that is again subjective one may choose to contact the faculty before the interview and one may not choose to personally speaking i never contacted anyone before the interview uh, but some of my colleagues did so it doesn't matter if you want to contact your supervisor uh, contact any faculty member before the interview it's up to you so if you mail professor before coming for interview or applying to the institute that you can say that yeah i have applied and i am interested in doing research or my research topic is kind of similar to yours research topic so for the then for the professor it become easier to uh, note it down yeah this is the candidate uh, who's interested in this area but while doing the interview they will also see judge other students and definitely they will pick up the best student who will be able to do best work for them so uh, even if you are mailing it may give you little benefit but it doesn't give you the guarantee that you will get the admission one more point if somebody is doing a master's degree mtech degree or msr degree from iit delhi for example then he or she can convert her or his master's degree into phd degree if the person has a future plan that person will pursue phd degree after completing the master's degree if you can convert your master's degree into phd degree directly then you will be able to save at least two years apart from that if you ha are in a project fellow and in iit and so you'll be working some work under some faculty member so the faculty member will be able to know your work style so you may get some additional benefit to get enrollment in phd degree in the engineering discipline or maybe in science discipline there is a lot of uh, fellowship that one students can get while doing PhD. For example, institute fellow, another is project fellow, and another is the prime minister's research fellow. Here in prime minister's research fellow, students get 70,000, 75,000, and 80,000 in various years of the PhD. And another um, one may be uh, prime minister's fellow for doctoral research. There also students get 80,000 around. Apart from that, other uh, fellowships are there for example for girls and some special uh, fellowship is there for girls candidate single girl child single girls and candidate then for rajiv gandhi scst scholarship scholarship various uh, scholarships uh, are available the names of the all the scholarship and uh, will be i will uh, post in the description box you can go through that so another question we have received is uh, having a jrf net jrf Will that act as an advantage uh, for PhD interview during the PhD interview? Uh, I think yes, uh, that can be an advantage uh, because uh, for the JRF candidates, the institute doesn't have to provide stipend. The stipend or the scholarship comes from UGC, from the government. So the teachers here will be more than happy to 
take take a JRF candidate because the institute wouldn't have to pay them. Hmm. So yeah, it might act as an advantage. Okay. And how many seats? I often I am often asked this question: How many seats are there? So in our department, in HSS department, uh, one can one cannot say how many seats are there, how many vacant seats are there. The seats uh, maybe it depends upon how much funding the department has. But I I am not sure about all this. Huh? I am just guessing. This mm-hmm. is my personal opinion. Maybe the number of seats depend on the amount of funding the department has, and also. Uh, which if a faculty wants to take uh, take 10 students that semester that means uh, that faculty has 10 seats mm-hmm. if the faculty doesn't want to take any student in that semester so there will be zero seats yeah, so yeah. one cannot say how many seats are there it changes every semester i am often asked uh, that how to prepare for interviews so i would say uh, for the preparation uh, i feel the preparation doesn't start two days before the interview or one month before the interview the preparation starts from one's childhood from one's school school life maybe because what kind of person you are what are your interest areas and how you have been oriented towards socio-economic socio-political issues of the country uh, what are your thoughts and your stand on gender or religious caste class issues all these things i think prepare you for any kind of interview at least in the humanities and social sciences uh, stream and for interviews i feel the most important thing is honesty uh, one should be honest one should be if if we don't know any answer to any question we can we should be able to say that yeah i don't know the answer instead of trying to act over smart or trying to move around uh, with the question i feel one should be honest during interviews yeah, that's what has always worked with me. Yeah, for engineering discipline, you may say I'm not able to recall right now. I just forgot, or I'll go through about a concept again in my room. You can say like instead of saying directly no, you can politely say no. Okay, that's all for today. I think we have covered all the questions asked by the students. Uh, if you have more queries, then you can ask in the comment section below. We wish you all the best for your interview and the entrance exam. We hope to see you in IIT. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.